time. Welcome. Water is a heavily discussed topic in our industry. Rightfully so. Coffee is made out of 98% water. Today, I'd like to take a step further and talk more than just the water I use for my brew, but the water in the air around us, which is humidity. Humidity influences every stage of the coffee making process. Furthermore, it influences your sensory experience, which is what I truly care about. I've chosen a coffee that I've been working with for the past three years. Knowing its potential is what encouraged me to dive deeper and look beyond the traditional variables of coffee making. And that's how I come across humidity. This coffee is from Serra Azul, located in Colombia. A geisha varietal grown at 2,000 meters above sea level. Serra Azul enjoys high rainforest-like humidity. But what does this mean for the coffee cherries? It slows down the maturation process, allowing it to produce more sugars, resulting in a sweet and viscous cup of coffee for you. After harvest, the coffee cherries go through a seven-day anaerobic process. When the cherries are kept in a silt tank, with the absence of oxygen in a controlled temperature room, under these anaerobic conditions, the cherries produce tartary acid which will taste like strawberries in a cup. And with the long fermentation hours, it brings out a syrupy body, which will taste like port wine. So when it comes to roasting this coffee, the environment is important too, particularly humidity. As the amount of water vapor in the air will affect how efficiently heat is transferred from the drum to the bean itself. Therefore, we roasted this coffee in a controlled humidity room. This will help to ensure that we break down all the sugars and acids in a dense varietal like geisha. And after roasting this coffee, we kept the coffee with silica gel. This helps to prevent the coffee from getting any additional moisture during the degassing phase. Maintaining low moisture content in the roasted coffee helps the coffee to stay brittle and what, in return, it gives us a more even and narrow grind size distribution when we grind the coffee. I'm using 32 clicks on my Commandante, a coarse grind, and I sieve away the fines. And this contributes to a clean and juicy cup, which will taste like red apple as the coffee cools. I'm using 15 grams of coffee, to 240 grams of water, if a brew ratio of 1 is to 16. With this brew ratio, it gives me a clean and lingering, fresh coconut water-like finish. I'm using the origami air, as the plastic dripper is a great insulator of heat, giving me a stable brewing temperature throughout. Accompanied with the cone-shaped filter paper, it gives me more control over my flow rate and in result, providing a more dynamic cup profile. After months of testing, the coffee tasted best on the fourth day, which is today. And coming to the key ingredient, of a brew, the water. The water that I'm using is of 160 ppm, a high mineral water with a mixture of magnesium and calcium. This best work with my coarse grind method and coffee because it allows me to extract more coffee oil, resulting in the syrupy mouthfeel, which will taste like port wine. And I split my, my brew into four pours. Sixty grams, seventy grams, seventy grams, and fifty grams respectively. 
and what this does is refresh, watch, refresh water introduced into the brew bed each time. It gives the coffee a flavour clarity, even in a complex coffee like this one. So after experimenting, I also realised that the coffee tastes different at different brewing temperature. So therefore, to give the coffee complexity, I'm using a dual temperature for my brews. 93 for my first two pour, and 75 for my last two pour. This is what gives the cup strawberries and raspberry. And coming to the more exciting and fun part, which is your taste and, exp uh, your taste and aroma experience. So as I've prepared the cards with all the information that you need for the tasting notes, so you don't have to rush to write them down. You can feel free to bring with this with you later on. So as, a, as your brewer, I have no control over the humidity like today, but it's low and dry. Sadly, at low humidity, it puts us in a less optimal environment to taste and smell. But I've got you. So after my brew, what I did was, I put a hot water, a bowl of hot water right over the server. And what this does is it creates a micro control environment. With, first thing first, it helps to maintain the heat. Secondly, it creates more water vapor. And this water vapor helps to capture more aromatic volatiles, hence as enhancing your sensory experience. So for the aroma assessment today, please take at least two. Before every assessment, give it three swirls. Right? Once you are ready, I'll be transferring your coffee into the cups that I've prepared for you and the coffee. So please help me write down for the aroma today. And your first, you will get cacao -cao nibs, honeysuckle, and red grape. And on the second assessment, you'll get a dominant of orange blossom. There you go, enjoy. Yeah, enjoy. Thank you for waiting. There you go. Maybe? All right, moving on to your taste experience. So how I did, what I did was I preheat the cups for you. So maintaining the temperature of the cups will help to capture more volatiles, which will help to enhance your experience even in this environment. So in the flavors today, you will get, when it's hot, blueberry, cooked apple, cooked red apple, and when it's warm, it transits into strawberries and raspberries. As it cools, the blueberry returns as a blueberry black tea with a new note of coconut water. In the aftertaste, when it's hot, it tastes like red grapes. When warm, it turns into cacao nibs. And it cools off as a freshly squeezed coconut water. Please hold on. The acidity is medium. Tasting like red grape. And as it cools, it turns into key lime pie and a sweet mayo lemon. The body is my favorite. It's medium, heavy when it's warm. Syrupy like pot wine. And as it cools, it turns into a juicy cup like red apple. So for your best experience, please use your cupping spoon when the coffee is hot. From warm onwards, please drink directly from the cup. I hope you enjoy yourself. Thank you so much. Time.